Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Shen, I'm a 26 year old management consultant living in London and on this channel you can find planning, personal finance and lifestyle content. So in today's video we're setting up our October budget. I cannot believe that we've only got, after this video, we've only got two more budget setups for the rest of the year. Ah, it's gone so quickly. But yeah, if you do want to see how we're setting up our budget for October, just keep on watching. Okay, so when I was setting up my budget, I did get like a little bit excited and <laughs> started to fill stuff out. And I was like, nope, I need to save that for the video. So just ignore that. But our salary this month is £3,076.98. Interestingly, this is like just under £20 less than my like what I've been getting the last few months. I'm not sure why that is. I'm, I guess maybe I've underpaid tax or something. So they were just evening it out. But that was kind of annoying because I had to readjust everything, but it was fine. Like it's literally 18 pounds something. So yeah, we just, I think I just took out one of the categories, which I'll share with you after. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So salary again, like we budget based off of this. So I know the amount 3,076 pounds and 98 pence. And then our rollover this month was uh, a bit higher than last month. So 56 pounds and 88 pence. And that is... Um, exactly the same because we just roll over whatever we have left in our personal spending category so that won't change uh, throughout the month obviously so these can all be zero because there won't be any additions so interest this is a line item that I've added back in because my main account that provides me with interest um, I think they give me interest at the end of every quarter I believe so I think it's the last day of the month so it'd be the 30th of September which is today so we actually got 60 pounds and 54 pence miscellaneous we actually don't have anything right now so we're starting that off with zero which means our total for estimated income at the start of the month is three thousand one hundred and ninety four pounds and forty pence which is nice i'm really glad that we managed to roll over quite a bit and then the interest is always nice because it's essentially free money <laughs> um onto our bills so spotify comes in at four pound fifty and i'm on a family plan which is why it's so cheap and that is due on the 10th phone bill is 21 pounds and 62 pence and that is due on the 26th i believe Manny Penny, we're putting in 35 this month. Family, which is my contribution just to the family household. I live at home with my parents still, is 200 pounds. And then beauty treatments is 120, but I'm not actually sure if I will be spending all of this. My beautician has gone away for a month. So I'm actually going somewhere else that I used to go to. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get all of the same things that I normally get because I've had a package with the, my beautician for like the last God knows how many years. And I've kind of just gotten that every month, but I might miss out a few items that I can kind of do myself like eyebrows and upper lip waxing and things like that. Cause I do actually have some wax. So I might do that just to save any money. And then what I'll probably do is just roll over the rest of what's in beauty treatments into next month so that I have to put less in um, with my November budget. So that does give us a total of £381.12. Right, moving down into our sinking funds. So personal spending, we do, like I said, roll over the amount, but we put that back into our income. So technically we zero this out at the start of the month, which means that our personal spending was starting at zero. And we are popping in at the start of the month £295.74 onto gifts so gifts started the month with 74 pounds and 17 pence and we are adding 50 pounds i guess i should put gifts and donations because i do donations out of this as well so yeah just adding 50 pounds i mean there isn't really many gifts i need to buy my boyfriend's little sister's birthday i've just bought her present which is the next birthday coming up um and then yeah i don't really have any birthdays until december which is my mum's birthday on the 16th the week before christmas so i tend to just like put what i'm going to spend on her birthday and christmas together and then i'll either buy her one bigger present or um yeah just take it from from that budget on to clothing we started off the month with 202 pounds and we are adding 115 which i'm very happy about because I'm always trying to like bulk up clothing. I just go through periods where I'm like, I hate everything in my wardrobe, I want new stuff. And that's literally how I'm feeling right now. Beauty started off the month with zero and we are adding quite a bit this month actually. 
we're adding 80 pounds um i do need to get my hair cut at some point and i actually don't know how much it costs i think it's between like 20 or 30 pounds i get like a very basic trim but i'm kind of thinking that maybe i should get some kind of layers this time which i know will be a bit more expensive so we'll see i don't know if i'll get it this month maybe i'll get it next month but i have also topped up on my hair syrup which is just a uh, hair oil the brand of the hair oil that i use i get it from tiktok shop and it's a really really good price uh, so that came out of here as well and then i don't really think there's anything else i necessarily need to stock up on but it's just nice to have some money in that category Technology started the month off with 75 and we're not actually putting anything in this month. Siblings started the month off with 30 and I must admit this is the category that I took um, money out of. Well, not money out of, but I uh, am not actually putting anything in because of the salary difference. But I mean, we've still got £30 in there, so that's good. Vacation started off the month with £573.78. And we are putting in 250. Slowly building this up. Treat yourself. We started the month with 900 pounds. And I just wanted to make this an even amount because I'm starting to actually drop the amount that goes in here every single month now. So I'm going to put in 200 this month. But from next month onwards, that will go down. And for those who haven't tuned into my videos before, my Treat Yourself Fund is literally, <laughs> as it sounds, it's a fund for pretty much anything that I'm wanting. I usually would get any sort of more high-end or designer purchases from this fund and if I don't have anything that I want in mind which is the situation right now I will just let it build up for a little while and then when I'm ready to buy something I kind of have the money there it's also for if there's anything miscellaneous that kind of comes up I tend to just get it from treat yourself or if I'm overspending and personal spending which to be honest hasn't happened for a while I will take from treat yourself as well so it's just good to have a good chunk of money in there in case anything happens not not happens because that would <laughs> just come from my emergency fund but you guys know what i mean it's kind of a, a whatever i did actually used to call it whatever fund but i kind of feel like treat yourself sounds a bit more friendly <laughs> so <laughs> sounds a bit nicer so i've just gone for that travel we're starting the month off with 104 pounds and 97 pence and we are adding 80 pounds and 54 pence and what i did just do is i initially planned to put 20 in here and just added the interest um i will say with the interest it's kind of difficult to figure out how much i'll actually be getting uh after the three months because obviously the amount in the account varies like day to day month to month so it's quite hard to actually work it out i think it's at like five percent interest now it was four and a half for like a month or two and now it's gone up to five percent so yeah that is um that was just good to just have as an extra and i i tend to try and put as much as i can into travel just because i do use it on a monthly basis so 80 pounds 54 in there planning started off the month with 24 pounds and 60 pence pens dying on me a little bit and we are adding 62 pounds and the reason being is i want to start getting or starting to build this category up to be able to purchase all of my new planner inserts for next year so yeah the next couple of months i'll definitely be adding more into that and then my aesthetic box payment the next one comes out in december so i do need to also account for that too and the last one in our um sinking funds is actually christmas and that started off the month with £165. And we are adding 65 And then you guys, I just realised something. <laughs> I forgot a category. Oh, let me just move this. It's fine because I can just literally move the sticker down, which is good. I just need to like draw the lines longer. But we're adding a new category in this month and it is work lunches. So I, just to explain for those who don't know, I work for a consultancy and obviously we have clients that we work with and I do tend to go to my client site once a week. Now, when I do go to the client site, they give me five pounds that I can spend on lunch, which pretty much covers, like it does cover my lunch. I can get a good meal for five pounds. So that's fine. But I've decided I'm going to start going into my actual company's office a little bit more, maybe once a week, a couple of times a month. And in that office, they do actually still subsidise our lunch. I think they give us like £3.45 to go towards lunch each day. But admittedly, that depending on what I get, it either can or doesn't cover my lunches. So I can get, for example, a jacket potato, which for those in the US, it's literally just a baked potato. Um, and then I can get some fillings in it. I usually just go for tuna and mayonnaise um, and some butter. And that I think is like £2.40 or something like that. So that is covered by the... Um, 
the allowance and then I'll usually just get like a chocolate bar or a packet of crisps and that covers the 3.45. However, if I want kind of a cooked meal, like I think last time I had chicken katsu, that's like £6.95. So I wanted to allow myself to have the option if I wanted a bit more. So um, yeah, I've just decided to put in £15. Obviously this month it started with zero because I didn't, it was a new category, but I'm adding in £15 this time. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, you literally just top it up onto your kind of like account thing because they don't use cash uh, in the canteens at work. So yeah, we'll see. I'll probably just top up five pounds every time and then just see how we get on. I might not need the full 15, but I will just roll this over into the next month. So that does mean that our opening balance is 2,149 pounds and 52 pence. As for our estimate in sinking funds this month, it is... £1,152.74 and that is our sinking funds. Moving straight on to savings. So you'll notice if you have tuned in before that this section is looking a little bit smaller and that is because I've taken out two categories. I did mention in my last video that I have two ISA accounts that I have paid the maximum I can into them so just going to take them off until the next tax year starts in April and then we'll be able to contribute to them again. Uh, I do have three accounts here that have fixed interest amounts for a year and they have a maximum they have a maximum amount that you can put in each month. So for first direct uh, you can only put in 300 pounds so that is exactly what I'm going to put in so we can actually fill this straight across because it isn't going to change. For club Lloyds we can only put in 400 so that is also the same and then for the lloyd's easy saver we can only put in 250 and i have actually written the uh, interest amounts just on the side so for first direct you get seven percent so that's a really good amount um club lloyd's 6.25 and then lloyd's easy saver is 5.5 percent then we do have virgin private savings which is the only account i've currently got that you can kind of just put in as much as you like so I am just chucking everything that isn't these three categories into here and this will definitely make up part of what I'll be using for the house deposit next year and then also things like furniture and legal fees and all of that good stuff. I definitely will be making some more videos closer to next year about sort of the house buying process for those who haven't seen my last video. I think it was a plan with me. I mentioned that myself and my partner are starting to look at properties to potentially move into at the end of next year, maybe Q4 next year, we'll start looking. So uh, we're definitely planning our budgets now for the next year to just make sure that we're maximizing our savings as much as possible and making sure that we're in good shape to actually purchase a house and furnish it. So I'm definitely going to be using this Virgin private savings account to pop in as much as I can. And this month we are putting in 650 pounds, which is fabulous. I'm hoping we can put in a bit more if we do get some additional income, but for now it's just gonna be 650, which means our total savings this month is 1,600 which I'm really happy with I usually save sort of a minimum of 1,500 so um yeah the next year or so I've kind of mapped out what I want my contributions to my savings accounts to look like for from now until the end of December 2024 and the goal is really to get to a minimum of like one five a month but more if we can and then obviously I do have a bonus coming up and possibly a tiny little pay rise so uh yeah we'll also be putting any additions into savings as well so friends there you have it that was my october budget i am very happy about the amount that we're putting into savings this month generally the accounts that get the most love are obviously my savings and then treat yourself which again will be changing from this month vacations and then obviously my personal spending which is the account I draw from for my sort of day-to-day -day spending it's honestly usually spent on food <laughs> but yeah thank you so so much for watching you guys let me know what your focuses are this month like I said my focus for the next year or so really will be bulking up my savings for a future house purchase so that's exciting but I'd love to know what you're focusing on if you did enjoy today's video please do make sure you give it a thumbs up before you leave and consider subscribing if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next one bye